Crafty here, week 11 for our scrapping organization. Woohoo! I think that's awesome. We are making good headway. My scrap room has never looked more clean, nor have I ever known where everything is compared to how where I know where it is now. So that is awesome. Um, I slightly lied in the past few um, weeks. Just kidding, not like super lied, but... Um, while I, you know, filmed, you know, embellishments and that kind of stuff, I came across some other things and I separated them. So a couple things embellishment wise that I forgot to show you guys that I have a container for as well is any small paper pads that are not a part of a collection. I also have um, these random um, acetate transparent like layering pieces and then other just like cards and such um they're in here and like i have like little six by six paper pads of just random paper i've picked up on clearance or something just white or black or these subtle patterns i don't use them a ton but sometimes i do some random miniature paper pads um these ones are all adhesive paper which is interesting i don't think i've ever used any of them so i should probably like do a time where i just do those i don't know but when I am like dwindling down on my collections and a six by eight or six by six paper pad needs to go anywhere, it'll end up going in here. So there's plenty of room. That's also in a cube on its own. So that is by itself. Got a giveaway bag started. Um, I also have embellishments in one of these handy dandy folder things. So random smaller stickers um, that were part, which actually, this was like as I was cleaning out collections. Um, so these could actually go in here in this bin I have right next to me. Um, but I have like random frames that didn't fit. Like this is like a fabric frame and I didn't want it to get ruined. So I want it to stay nice and sturdy in here. And then these were a couple paper frames and like uh, cut out cards that I didn't want to get bent. So I just tucked them in here. But this is in, like, like these are just leftovers from a collection. And this like six by 12 um, October afternoon sticker sheet um this random alpha so this is this stuff is in my try to kill so actually i'm gonna leave these in here um it's on my desk try to use up like this is like the bin of use these things up first before you grab for the main stash where everything is type stuff um a random cut apart from a random collections in here and then all of the leftover 12 by 12 sticker sheets um, so that's part of this week as well. Stickers and rub-ons. So this is where all my sticker sheets go too. So they all go in this and this is in the bin that's on my desk like staring at me where I keep the kit I'm working on or whatever or the little partial kits as well as 12 by 12 alpha stickers sheets if I have those because they don't fit and then these are actually some branding strips which go in a in the bin with the 12 by 12 or the 6 by 12 alphas so stickers and alphas. so the class talks about how this is the time to go through them organize them the way you want to so they're not everything is not in one box so I still have things like quote unquote in a bin but I've separated them more manageable like where I want them to go and so they don't get ruined bent or whatever so this is 12 by 12 alphas 12 by 12 sticker sheets and other random sticker sheets that don't belong to a collection anymore that I want to stay safe um these actually probably could go in this other bin um but these are on my desk ready to use staring at me to use as well as this is in a cube so this is technically stickers and embellishments i waited to show you this because it's kind of everything because there are some stickers some ephemera some but this is all like title things so if it's a title and it's a sticker it's in here so i and i wanted a place where they could fit better so i stuck them all in here um this is where all those are stickers titles yep old banner strips from old old collections and this is also where my um branding strips are there they are. i was like where'd they go i have a bunch of them or like border stickers border punch um punch outs 
this is where they be. So that's all kind of part of the last few weeks categories. Bah! I want to break all those apart. I won't do that now. But they all kind of go in here. So yeah, they're still kind of in a bin. But I know where they are. And I, and now that I've organized it, I know, like I said, I know where they are. That's, that is the biggest key is now I know where they are. Because I went through, I dug through all my stuff. And now I've organized it and put them in places that I can keep track of them. I'm going to add this to this. So yeah, if I ever need phrases, labels, that kind of thing, and they're on a longer stacker, <laughs> that's where these are. So these are also like in amongst my ephemera. So whenever I need an embellishment, I have a whole column of my cubes that is all embellishment stuff, essentially. As well as I have this box of cards, other cards, ephemera, which... This is one thing that I still want to get go, go through. Speaking of, I'm doing it now. These are all going to go in this. Doing something else with this. Don't know what yet. Those are all, so that's something different. <sighs> so pocket cards, frames, tags. tickets, you name it, it's in here. And like I said, the class on scrapbook.com was like, this is your chance to get them out of a bin. No, mine are still technically in a bin, but like I said, I've gone through them now and now I know where they are. So that's a whole nother story because at least now those bins have been gone through. So all pocket cards, cards, Those are all going in here because they can and these are all like actual cards so I'm going to keep put these with my card stuff yeah these are technically fabric tags that's a tag that's a tag tag these are pocket cards these are tags. It's a tag. Tag, tag. Tag. <laughs> tag. String. Pocket park, 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 park. What's this technically? These are technically journaling cards. This is technically a journaling card. Yeah, I don't know. So these are all tags. You know what? I don't use these or these. Or these. Those are going. This one I still want. These I still want. These I've had in my stash forever and I will use them. I'll find a way. I'll find a way. Now that I'm going to be doing a traveler's notebook, these might be coming handy. I don't know. I don't know where these are going yet. I haven't figured that out. These are all getting in the goodie bag. See, you're watching me organize. Look at that. These are all going in tags. Hmm. These can all go in here. They're flags, technically, aren't they? There we go. Cards. Yeah, that's not going to work. We'll be coming to that soon. Ooh, I know, I know, I know. I have an idea. I have an idea for this box. Not today, though. That's a different week. But I have an idea. It's coming up. <laughs> there. 
And then all my stickers and rub-ons are in here otherwise. So I just got these, if you saw my haul video earlier this week. Um, but any sticker books, I have the two that I don't have collections for. Um, technically, I do have a little bit of Pink Paisley, so I could put that in the drawer with that. Uh, but I don't really have any Dear Lizzie. And then this random Recollections one. And then I have, like, this random, it was on clearance at Joann's. The storylines, just boy stuff. Here's just cardstock stickers, tons of stickers. My name stickers for myself and my husband. Um, all these me and my big ideas. Um, Mambi chips. <laughs> Those are all in here. Any washi stickers that I randomly got, which I might go through. Any puffy stickers. Um, yeah, just random stickers and embellishment, that type of stickers. And then uh, rub ons, rub ons, rub ons. These are all rub ons. Those are my rub ons. I don't have very many rub ons if they're not part of a collection. And I haven't been getting a lot of rub ons because they are really hard to work with sometimes. Um, I really love them when they work. This one, I can already tell that H is on the backing and it's not coming off. So these are really old. I bought them. So this was on Amazon. I don't remember getting them on Amazon. Maybe someone else got them for me. But these are really old. Um, I don't even... There's not even a year on here, but I've had them since the dawn of time. So it might be that I have to test out these rub-ons and see if they still work. I really hope these EK Success ones do because I they're really cool sayings. And they're for like when your kid is growing and they make me cry. <laughs> So I would, I, and these would be really good, um, traveler's notebooks, uh, ones for journaling and like that kind of thing. So I'm hoping they still work cause they would fit a, a, a notebook page perfect and then like embellish the other side and put a picture. So I might actually plan on doing that, but, uh, yeah, so this is, I have this and this, these are in cubes right next to each other. So these are in my cubes. This is in my, like my little embellishment cluster of cubes. I will show you guys obviously a whole uh, walkthrough of where everything is in my room when I'm all done. Um, but that is that. Um, I'm not gonna attach a, a process video to this one at all, just because it was kind of hodgepodge, but I will have a process video for you um, tomorrow. And what I'm gonna be, I'll just give you a taste of what I'm gonna be working on. I'm gonna be doing this page um, from when my son was born. It was like the day after he was born. We were still in the hospital. And there was this really cool sketch from, um, I believe it was, which scrap? Um, Creative Scrapbook Magazine. Uh, the Creative Scrapbooker magazine, it was from, I think their November sketch that they always do like a sketch of the month too. And, uh, I really liked it and I just didn't, with the sewing of the stockings, I didn't have time to do it. So I, um, wanted to work on it this month and it was perfect because then, um, Redefine Creative, the Rediscover Your Stash, uh, page, the focus this month is cut aparts and pocket cards and look at what I got, pocket card. That was part of a cut apart sheet. So this is literally all that page is going to be. Plus I got all those new embellishments that you would have seen in my haul video. If you would have seen that, if not, go check out, um, my playlist, um, for November. Uh, yeah. Other than that, that's all I have for you today. So getting your um, embellishments kind of were all the different kinds of embellishments were kind of the last few weeks for organization. And I'm, I'm seriously, you guys, like I have only one, two, two like cubes to go through and two baskets. And one of them is two of three of baskets and three of them, two of them are mainly card stuff. One of them is mainly paints. I literally just need to make sure all my paints work or if they're good enough. So um, we are getting there and I'm really excited. So um, stay tuned for a process video tomorrow about this little guy and this fun stuff. Otherwise, thanks for watching. Bye.